Taran tan tan taran tan tan tan. Natural science class with teacher Fernando. In this video, we are going to learn about physical changes. A physical change happens when an object changes its shape or state of matter. We already know that the states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. These changes can be reversible, that means that we can undo the change, or irreversible, that we cannot go back to the original state. Let's have a look first at changes in shape. Objects can change in shape when you cut, break or smash them. For example, this bone is broken. It is still a bone, but it is broken. You can fix the bone. Your body will fix the bone, but it will not be the same. These changes are usually irreversible. As I was saying, for example, if you cut your hair like this, your hair will grow again, yes, but you cannot undo the cut. You cannot paste with glue your hair and have the hair back again. And also with this aluminium foil, if you make a ball of foil, is a physical change. It has changed the shape. We had a thin aluminium foil and we did a ball. You cannot put the aluminium back in its original form. Now let's have a look at the changes in state. Objects can be in three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. And they change state when the object is heated or cooled. This depends on the temperature. So with more temperature, the object is heated or cooled when the temperature goes down. For example, here we have the cloud, which is vapor water in gas state. The liquid is the, the rain is the liquid water and if we cool the water, for example, in the fridge, we can have this ice cube. These changes are reversible. If we take an ice cube from the freezer and leave it outside, it will melt and transform into liquid water but we can put the water back to the fridge and we will have a frozen ice cube again. The same with this ice cream. It is melting, but we can put it back on the fridge or the freezer. Now let's have a look at the names of this process of changing the state of matter. A solid, if we heat the solid, it melts and melting it becomes liquid. If we put more heat, if we continue heating the object, it will vaporize and become a gas. And so to do this process, we need more heat. And to do the opposite, we need to cool the object. 
in this case water so to go this way we need more cool or less heat okay so to pass from gas to liquid it is called condensation and from liquid to solid it is called freezing when we are talking about water it's freezing and we can also say solidification well that those are the three states of matter and the changes that we can have well summarizing we have that physical changes can be changes on state and changes on the shape of the object these changes from liquid to gas or solid are usually reversible and the changes in shape are irreversible that was all for this video i hope you like it and see you in the next one bye all